Hello, my name is Leslie Chong, and I am proud to present uh, Imaging, which is um, a company, a biotech company, developing cancer immunotherapies. My disclaimer. So some of the investment highlights for us is that we have two novel technologies. We have an oncolytic viral therapy called CF33. We also have a B-cell immunotherapy. Both really invokes your immunity to fight against your own cancer. So it's a beautiful um, two products. Our oncolytic viral therapy comes from City of Hope Cancer Center in out of Los Angeles. It has demonstrated not only just monotherapy, but we're living in the age of combination where cancer therapies require a little bit more boost. So we're, we saw some gorgeous data um, in the combination um, as well. It had a prolific and compelling preclinical data that I'll show you. And um, luckily, luckily for us, the manufacturing is already complete. We have an extremely experienced uh, management team that are ex-Virolytics. For those of you who may not know, Virolytics was a biotech company out of Australia that sold to Merck for 500 million, um, a half a billion dollars. And we also have a B-cell technology uh, recruiting already in a phase two and also a uh, phase one for PD-1 vaccines, an anti-PD-1. It's likely one of the most famous checkpoint inhibitors out there, Keytruda and Octivo. And we have a light product that could be a gentler, kinder anti-PD-1. All of our products have a robust um, IP going out to 2037. Uh, and I'll show you the significant news flow and the multiple and near medium term valuation value inflections. So as I said, we have two products here, two platforms, uh, CF33, the oncolytic viral therapy, as well as the B-cell vaccine with two programs coming off of each. And our uh, lifelong, um, long life uh, um, patent going out to 2037 there across, across all our programs. And we have an extremely extensively experienced board member, uh, Dr. Axel Hughes is a, is a senior vice president of GSK, clinical lead of the first checkpoint inhibitors to be produced by BMS. We have Dr. Jens Eichstein, who is uh, the former president of SR1. That was the venture capital arm of GSK. And we are all led by um, Mr. Paul Hopper, who's our executive chairman, who was the former chairman of Virolytics. So in a short way, I'll show you how an oncolytic virus works. It basically, the virus infiltrates into the cancer cells. It only infiltrates into those particular cancer cells. It multiplies at an accelerated rate. It implodes the tumor cells and then enacts your immune system as well. So that's the beauty of an oncolytic viral therapy. And when we compared it to other oncolytic therapies out there that are in the clinic, if you look um, at this pancreatic cancer graph, you'll see that the orange is all about CF33 suppressing the cancer uh, cells more than the other therapies um, as compared to um, in, the, in the xenograph model here in a colon line, you'll see that again, if you follow the orange line, CF33, the suppression was quite much more severe <clears throat> and much more faster than the compared oncolytic viral therapy and even the non-injected tumors. So it has an upscopal effect where it travels to the tumor cells without the direct injection. So our, our one of our first clinical trials will be in triple negative breast cancer. This is one of the deadliest uh, breast cancer. Uh, and you can see here at even at such a low dose, we're at two to five orders of magnitude lower than doses used for other oncolytic viral therapy. And you see that complete tumor suppression. And so we've taken this particular therapy known as check fat because it has our oncolytic viral therapy, CF33, as well as an anti-PDL1, which is a checkpoint inhibitor, transgene into it, such that it gives a payload directly to the cancer cells. So we have a dose escalation pathway where we move up 
and find that dose that's safe, immunogenic, as well as seeing some level of target or tumor responses. And we'll go right into an expansion with that. And that will be conducted at City of Hope, Los Angeles. We also have an incredibly um, vast phase one study where we're gonna look at vaccinia, the core parental virus, in an intratumoral administration and an intravenous. There's no oncolytic viral therapy that has been known to work intravenously, but we think because we have such a powerful oncolytic viral therapy that we think we can go in here. So we're looking at an IT, the intratumoral dose escalation, as well as intravenous dose escalation. Once we find the safe dose, we'll go right into a combination of standard of care. So a combining with a checkpoint inhibitor, and we're looking across head and neck cancers, melanoma, triple negative, um, lung, uh, bladder, gastric, colorectal, renal cells, so it's a vast amount of indications. And if you were to look at the landscape of recent oncolytic viral therapy transaction, you could see um, as early as 2019, a preclinical product that hasn't even been in the clinic garnered 1.2 billion in, the, in, in value in a deal. So this is a fairly hot space. And as I said, Virolytics uh, with Merck at um, 394 million USD was translated into well over 500 million. So I'll just quickly go into my B-cell immunotherapy. This uh, therapy is an anti-HER2. It's prolific in breast cancer as well as gastric. So we target the receptors that plague this particular disease and it's called HER2. So we've completed a phase one already and we're currently in phase two. And if you look at the phase one, the data that we see, this is called a waterfall plot. This shows how much your tumor has been um, suppressed or decreased. And so we had a complete response, meaning we no residual tumors left, five partial responder, four stable disease, and one progressive disease. So it's pretty profound um, in terms of a phase one. And we're currently in phase two. We had an interim data safety review, and uh, the reviewers, the independent data monitoring uh, committee consisting of um, immunotherapists as well as statisticians told us to continue on with this very important study. They deemed it safe and hopefully um, effective. So uh, we have continued on. We like the idea of a B cell creating your own drug against the cancer. And so in this case, it's a PD-1. PD-1 is possibly one of the most famous and prolific checkpoint inhibitors out there like Keytruda or Opdivo. They garner $10 billion a year in sales. And we have a product that is created by your B cells. And it's a polyclonal effect of suppressing that PD-1 so that your immunity can actually see the cancer and come and get it. So we have designed a dose escalation study. And as soon as we find a safety immunogenetic and also see some target or tumor responses, we'll go right into yet again, a combination because combination is the name of the game. So that study was start very soon. And if you look at this particular multiple near and medium term valuation inflection points chart, you can see it's chock full. So I've got my hands full, we're trying to deliver on these. And we've got multiple shots on go here with several, um, several value inflection points and milestones. So that's the end of my presentation. You can find more information at the CRISPR deal room or contact me directly at leslie.chong at imaging.com. Thank you very much.